Fireworks is directed by Akeyuki Shimbo and Nobuyuki Takeuchi and tells the story of a love triangle while also having time travel elements while also happening in the midst of a festival with fireworks and so we have a group of four schoolboys discussing if fireworks are round or flat if seen from the side. And if that plotline doesn't sound very interesting to you, it's because it's not. And this film is from the producers of Your Name, an anime movie that came out a couple of years ago that will just destroy your heart and fill it at the same time. It's a magnificent film. So I was pretty damn excited to finally be able to watch Fireworks. And this movie is... It's watchable at best. Honestly, there's not much going on besides the discussion on whether fireworks are flat or round and there's also a discussion between one of the boys with the others if their teacher has big breasts or flat breasts. That's the comparison made in this film. The chunk of this movie focuses on Norichimi and Nazuna, a girl who's trying to run away from home for reasons I will not divulge in this review because of spoilers. He gets hold of this device that can turn back time. That is not a spoiler, a spoiler would be explaining how that device works. However, the movie also doesn't explain how that device works. This is a movie that honestly has no meat to it. This romance, should I even call it that, is so hollow and falls so flat, much like fireworks, kind of, I was supposed to make a joke, but it's not funny because this movie was extremely disappointing. Some of these characters are so likable at points, you cannot describe any of them. The character development is 0% in this film. They start one way and they end the same exact way. And yes, they are primary school children, so they will probably be unlikable for a big chunk of the film, but not for the entire film, not without showing any redeeming qualities. And this film only shows the flaws. I'm all for flawed characters, that's how you do a good character, but only show the flaw in their characters, and that's not how you do a good character. These characters are not likable in any sense. There's a moment where Norichimi understands what this device can actually do, and he starts using it for that, but you never get the sensation of awe and wonderment. You never see that he understands. He just has these quick flashbacks and once he should have understood what the device is doing, you don't really get a sense that he does. It takes a while for him to use the device again. But this movie is not horrible, it's not atrocious, it's not something that I regret watching. I'm happy I gave it a chance because it has good voice acting. The actors who voice these unlikable characters are actually pretty good in their job and no matter how much I dislike the characters, no matter how flat and one-dimensional they are, I think the actors did the best job they could reading these actually pretty bland lines that speak of love and romance and all these beautiful vague things that actually don't mean shit to the film. And the animation, although it can be beautiful because it is from Studio Shaft, you have these gorgeous colors and these gorgeous textures going on, the animation can sometimes go from something like this to something like this. So watch at your own risk. I would probably call fireworks the disappointment of 2018 for me, at least so far, and God, I hope not to have another disappointment as big as this. The animation looks nice, the voice acting is up to par, but this is a film that makes no sense, the characters make no sense, the story is absolutely nonsensical, you feel nothing for these characters, and their so-called journey because there actually isn't one. There's barely anything to like in this film because there's anything there to begin with. And it is with great sadness that I give Fireworks the Clark Gable. Now what did you think of Fireworks, my beautiful geekies? Did you enjoy it? I seriously hope if anyone was eager to watch this film that they enjoy it. I hope nobody feels the disappointment and hollow heart 
<laughs> that I feel right now. But let me know in the comments below. Let me know what is your favorite anime film in the past few years. And thank you so much for watching. You guys are the best. I'll be back this week with many other reviews. And so until the next review, you stay beautiful, you stay geeky. And if you had this so yet, click the subscribe button, click the bell. And please do consider supporting me on Patreon. You guys are the best. And when you do, we can be geeky. United!